Hi, and welcome back to Ross's Corner with Eric and Justin. Now we're going to teach you about the density of water and cholesterol. Okay, so as we s told you, rubbing alcohol is 0 0.9, and this one is uh, 0 0.9. 7, 6. So, now we're going to see the density of water. Water should be like equal density. So, as you notice, these two would probably float on water. So, we're going to drop this in. And this should be more dense. And it should be about 1. Because that's all what density water is. It's a density of 1. It's... What, uh... How you see the craters on like ships and that, they can flow forever because they, if they displace uh, 49 uh, kiloliters of water, then and they are 49, they displace more than they weigh, they should be able to flow of water. So as you've seen, it was at one. Now we're gonna try glycerol, as Eric here it says and I, I'm gonna let Eric drop it in and I want to ask him if he thinks like this is like very thick like look at that it's a like, hair gel if I really want to I could probably gel my hair back like Elvis Presley so Eric can you drop that in hmm. holy that is dense is it not yeah so do you want to tell me the reading Eric I'm not sure if it's done yet. Looks done. Okay, I'm gonna turn it around for you, Eric. Tell me the reading. Looks like about 1.34. Okay. That that's interesting because most of these are like more or less no actually less dense than glycerol, and like it's interesting to see how much there is. And that concludes our theory on, or presentation on, density, and the hydrometer. Thank you, and see ya later.